Ultimately, we will defeat Daesh and all who share their despicable ideology. And we are on the course to do so. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. It's Gimme Five Time Dash. Dash means ISIS. Obama calls them ISIL. Now they're starting to call them Dash because they don't want to mention Islamic State at all. They don't want to mention Islam. Dash is an acronym in Arabic for the Islamic State, for ISIL, for ISIS. And by the way, they don't like it. They don't like it so much that in, in their territory, if you say Dash, referring to them, they cut your tongue out. That's right. Uh, don't think Obama and Kerry are saying it because they want in, in, you know, to be combative and, and confrontational to, to ISIS. They just don't want to say Islam. That's why they're doing it, because we know ISIS has nothing to do with Islam whatsoever. Now, uh, uh, Kerry also said that we are not in a clash of civilizations. That is bull, bull. And Marco Rubio knows it. Marco Rubio was very strong over the weekend. I want you to hear some of what he had to say. I don't understand it. That would be like saying we weren't at war with Nazis because we were afraid to offend some Germans who may have been members of the Nazi party but weren't violent themselves. We are at war with radical Islam, with an interpretation of Islam by a significant number of people around the world who they believe now justifies them in killing those who don't agree with their ideology. This is a clash of civilizations. And as I said at the debate earlier this week, there is no middle ground on this. Either they win or we win. Absolutely. Now, Obama yesterday said, you know, America winning. We don't, we don't want to talk about that. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't, want to, we don't want to talk about that. It's going to be a long fight. And the dead people in Paris, that was a setback. Obama, delusional, narcissistic, dangerous to the safety of America. All of the above. Here's more from Marco Rubio. These are individuals motivated by their faith. Of course all Muslims are not members of violent jihadist groups. But there is a global jihadist movement in the world motivated by their interpretation of Islam, in this case Sunni Islam, in the case of ISIS. And it needs to be confronted for what it is. This is not a geopolitical movement. We this is a religiously oriented movement. Right. It's, it, they're not out to get land and power, as Hillary said at the debate the other day. It's not all about land and power. It's about land because they want a caliphate. They want a caliphate that stretches across the whole globe. Okay? Why? So that we could all become Muslim. It's about religion. And Marco Rubio understands that. And he wants France to invoke Article 5 of the NATO Treaty. Watch. Well, first I would ask our allies to invoke Article 5. This was clearly an act of war, an attack on one of our NATO allies. And we should invoke Article 5 of the, of, of the NATO agreement and bring everyone together to put together a coalition to confront this challenge. Yep, and that would mean an attack on France would be viewed as an attack on every NATO country. That's the strength and the core and the value of NATO. Let's see what will happen. Here's more. We continue to outsource much of this through the Baghdad, and Baghdad is more interested in pers uh, pursuing and protecting uh, or in protecting the uh, Shia groups, many of whom are under the control of Iran. Uh, they also are continuing to double down on their own domestic forces, which quite frankly have proven unreliable. The best fighters on the ground have proven to be the Kurds, and to some extent the Sunni tribes who are autonomous, but we're not directly supporting them. And so that needs to begin to happen. We also have to get our Sunni allies in the region more involved in this fight. Uh, the only way to ultimately ultimately defeat ISIS is for them to be defeated ideologically and militarily by Sunnis themselves. And to that end, here's some of what he, as president, would do. Well, there will have to be a significant American engagement, and that is why we should work more closely with our allies in the region, for example, to station American air support closer to the fight. Right now, we're conducting a lot of these airstrikes off of aircraft carriers. If we had more of these planes, I know some are fighting and flying out of Turkey, we should be requesting areas in Iraq. We could conduct a lot more airstrikes if we had that in place. So, wait, but so I also stop think... you there, though. So you're saying more airstrikes, but you're not, you're not willing to say more Well, you're not letting me you're finish, George. Okay, go ahead. And when he did finish, he talked about more special ops forces on the ground. Look, France just did a, 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 a number of bombing raids again yesterday. Second time they did a massive bombing raid or raids. You know who the targets they hit? We gave them the targets. Why haven't we hit those targets months ago? Because Barack Obama is our commander in chief. Thanks for watching.